Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we come to Lights Out. This is a concept I rather like. Um, seriously, I like these kinds of levels. Yeah, there's only two of them here, I believe. Uh, one of them is a secret level, I think. I'm not entirely sure. But, um... Yeah, this concept was in Crash 2 in a couple of levels, and only in one level in Crash 3, which disappointed me. But yeah, I, I rather like... Wait, wasn't it in Crash 3? Or am I just thinking of the hidden racing level that was just pitch black? Oh, but yeah, this is an interesting concept. Observe. Lights out. I like it. A lot. Yep. It's dark. Very dark. So light the way. You need Aku Aku. Yeah, this was switched out in the in Crash 2 in favor of a Firefly. You know, and like pretty much you would just have to walk up to the Firefly and he will like start uh, going around you, lighting up the way for you. So yeah. And you know, I mean, you're getting guaranteed hit points. Oh, that's not a mover. Okay. But pretty much you just need to be moving really fast to reach you know, your desired destination before the lights go out. Nice little concept here. I like it. Although you can get screwed over on the timing with those uh, uh, moving platforms. And I have actually seen somebody go through this entire level without the mask. It's like, holy crap, you need to have memorized where everything was I don't know I mean there are like videos of just insane gamers on YouTube just doing stuff I would have never thought possible I mean with DJ Hero I never thought I would see ah crap ah. shit yeah, I screwed that up I spun an enemy into a mask down the line and that can screw you up and I also killed myself so looks like I won't be getting oh crap a gem but yeah back on the thing of insane gaming videos like this hardest song on DJ hero somebody not only did it blind oh crap ah thought I could have did it but yeah not only does somebody do that song blindfolded they also got like well pretty much you get ratings on DJ heroes like on the scale of one to five stars so yeah he played the song one of the hardest songs in the game if not the hardest one blindfolded and got a five star score so either he had way too much time on his hands or he had a really good memory Yeah, and I avoided... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well. At least we're here. I avoided spinning him because I just wanted to make sure he didn't do this crate before I needed it. Ah! Screw you, moving platform. I probably could have just jumped on the sides, but eh. Alright. That life. Wait for the lights to go back out. Oh, great. These guillotines. Oh, well, we needed a gem for this one anyway. Not today, guillotines. Ah, crap! I think we're near the end anyway. I think I'm about to run out of light! And, ah, shoot! Cutting ahead till we get to that last little section there. Ah, if I can make it to that last little section there. Oh crap. Oh shit. Yeah, I am screwed. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, yeah, I, I saw the shadow of the scythe. Oh my lord. Looks like... Oh my god. Looks like this is going to be a life eater for me. 
I just fail. I, I'm, I'm just failing. I can't even talk straight. And I hit the mask too damn early again. Oh my god. <clears throat> well, and I just want to beat this level without going crazy. What have we got? Without going insane. To the ah! Why are there no tokens here? Okay. Thank you. All right, we're done with lights out. Whoo. Okay. That could have gone a lot better. Could have gone a lot better. We need a gym anyway, so. Did I get everything here? Wait. Is the way to finish, right? High row, super glide. Lights out. All right. So, yep, here we go into the jaws of darkness. Yay! By that title, you would have thought this was another one of those little darkness levels, but alas, tis not. It's a temple level on the rather mechanized island. Actually, that was, yeah, that was a castle we just went through, pretty much, you know, with the, like, royal coat of arms and everything, so. Okay. All right. Come the fuck! Uh, uh, no. All right. Okay, I'm I'm just failing miserably at everything I attempt now, aren't I? Okay. Well, yeah, this must have been the one I was thinking of that has like the little invisible platforms that you need to walk off a ledge to find. Okay. Oh, uh, we got some bats here. Not gonna let them drive me, batty. I will say that every time I see bats on any game. So, yeah. Hope you guys are looking forward to hearing me say that on Legend of Zelda. There are keys everywhere in that game. Okay. Okay, I got it. This is just evil platforming! Screw it. Just have to concentrate there. Oh, we got a Cortex here. We're dealing with Cortex. We're dealing with Cortex. Spider, you son of a troll! That... That was just evil! No, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, we dealing with Tana here. Okay. All right. Can we do it? We want to go over yonder direction. Kill that dear snake. A sneaky snake. Oh, we needed a gem anyway. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to spider jump. We wait for him to come back down. Okay. More bats. I think I want to wait for the bats to go back through again. Yeah, screw it. Alright. Checkpoint. Thank you. Erk. Erk. No! Simple jumps! Why? Why me no make them? Okay. There we go. That You sort of want to, like, hit him in a way so that he won't hit the TNT. Because that is the sole reason that TNT is there. For you to spin that snake into it, thus destroying this. Yeah. It's just some tricky trickery dickery right there. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> is this it? Or is it? Nah, it must have been right there. Where where those little uh 
Wampa Fruit were just hanging inconspicuously in the air. That was probably it. Oh well. The little hidden section I was thinking of. But I don't want to risk it. Erg. And Tana! So now we have an instant checkpoint. Actually, do I need to do that invisible platform to get the last Cortex token? If so, then I just screwed myself. Okay. Yep, nope. I think that just destroyed a life, but... Doesn't really matter. Oh boy. Cause I mean, if I save the game... Ooh, Mike. Yeah, if I save the game, you know, it's... Not like those lives are gonna mean anything. Oh god! Huh. Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I can do a Who's Line Isn't Anyway joke! Crash Bandicoot. Where everything's... Wait, wait, no, no, let me think this out! Hmm. Because everything's not made up. Hmm. I, I, I'll, I'll come up with something, I'll come up with something, and it'll be great, I'm telling ya. It'll be great, it'll be swell! Ooh, 65% done. I don't know, I'm trying to think of something like Crash Bandicoot, the game where everything's made up and the lives don't matter, but everything's not made up. Where the easy, where the easy factor is made up? I don't know. Oh well, here we are, back at the Jaws of Darkness. I didn't know Darkness had Jaws. Woo! A hair's breadth from death. I've always wanted to say that too! Yeah, that's from One Piece. Yep, yes, I needed to do that hidden little area to get the last Cortex token. Ah, oh, well, c'est la vie. Alright, and with that, we move on to the final levels of the game. So, yep, we did uh, Lights Out, bested the Jaws of Darkness. Up next, we'll be tackling Castle Machinery. So join me then. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye.